Hi everybody, uh, just thought I'd do a, a little video on uh, on red thread and nutrition. Um, as soon as I decide to do that, the sun's come out, so you're not going to quite see, but I'm hoping you'll you'll kind of get a feel. Um, just a quick brief on this square. Um, basically, I'm going to get on for about 12, 13 days. Slightly soft. You can see by the footprints, hill marks. Um, but I need to get it down a little bit, so then next week I can work on it. Obviously, getting it down a Will help it dry out a bit keep a little bit less disease off um, so I've kind of had to be positive on that um, yeah but I just want to run through sort of red thread and nutrition um, I'm going to work off a list which I'm going to get to the wind's kind of throwing me around here so f well, what I was going to show you before the sun come out is this square is actually very yellow doesn't look like it on here I'm sure but um, it's sort of light yellow now um, but anywhere there's a fairy ring it's really bright green so obviously we all know that fairy rings um, release nitrogen so where there's not um, a fairy ring we have we have a yellower sword with red thread in it you can just see here there you can just see that red thread forming it's quite a bit of it in the square but I say just around where it where there's not um, where there's not fairy rings, so it shows you it's low nutrition. And the way we can deal with that red thread is it's basically a, a nitrogen-based feed because that's all it's really asking for. That's all red thread is saying really is that you know low on nutrition. The other way to sort of other indicator is the grass generally slows down, starts to go yellow it can go very weak sort of something into this area here i'm not sure it's going to pick up amazingly because of the sun but you can see how weak it is just on the edge of the square there that's sort of yellow in there can you see that yeah i think hopefully you can see i'm just about to put it up that way a bit but it's a very yeah if you leave this square in the current state it is at the moment the whole square is going to kind of get like that and then um what's going to happen you know same the same with us really we don't have, we don't have have you know nutrition um we get weaker um we lose color um and we're open to disease so it's not really what we want for our cricket squares over the winter or sports surfaces um just a little bit on red thread itself it's not something to overly worry about and um think panic about um it's a it's a disease i believe that just affects the teeth uh, leaf tissue rather than the actual plant itself so there shouldn't be any long-term damage though i have seen some scarring before but it just does generally fill back in if the grass is growing in spring or next growth window um so yeah now on to probably on to nutrition um now i've got some six nor eight or something something uh, six nor something in there um but you could use a six five ten uh that's a six or a six percent nitrogen um so that, that this time of year that's kind of you don't really want to be going too much above that uh you don't want to be putting too much nitrogen in theory you could get um sort of growth spurts and then you get a lot of disease so around six percent nitrogen is probably probably as far as you want to go um at this time of year ish um you might want to balance feed as I say six five ten to speak to the people you buy your fertilizer off really to get a bit more advice on what your square needs um, based on soil analysis that's ideally done earlier in the year um, there is a few different opinions on you know on that so that's it really I, I say just just want to do a bit on red thread which I think we've covered a bit on nutrition say when the when it slows when the plant slows down you're not collecting as much clippings starts to yellow um red thread starts to kick in then you kind of know that you know you're at the point where you you need to be feeding i would say just avoid frosts um if you're going to feed um there's a chance i mean if it's going to i wouldn't feed the night before a frost put it that way um you want a bit of rain to wash that that fertilizer in otherwise the uh fertilizer granules can get stuck to the uh the grass tissue leaf tissue and then scorch it nothing that's going to probably kill it or just blacken it just want to finish on probably let's get a few more images of um red thread just want to make sure people can get this that's our main thing for the film really
really see that. There's a few real li live uh, live strands on that. In theory, probably should be cutting it, mowing it, etc. When you've got that on, because you're probably going to spread it. But we all live in the real world. Um, you know, we've barely been able to get on here for the last few weeks. We've got a small window before rain returns next week. You need to get these heights down. You know, it's um, gradually. It is, we, we haven't hacked this off, but we're going to look to next week get a bit more height off. But anyway, um, if you found that helpful, please do consider subscribing to the videos. And any questions, just put them in the link below. And I also put a uh, link on Red Fred and a bit about feeding in winter also in the uh, description or the comments. Thanks again.